Hello, and welcome to the Liquor Connoisseur. I'm Crystal. And I'm Roger. Today, from the Liquor Library, we're checking out Remy V from the house of Remy Martin. Released in 2010 with a price point of about 40 bucks. Now, this eau de vie spirit is distilled from grapes in a copper pot steel. For those of you new to eau de vie, it means water of life. It's a clear, colorless fruit brandy that is produced with pear, peach, apples, or in this case, grapes. More info about brandy can be found on our website at theliquorconnoisseur.com. So tell us about the glasses we're using. The glasses we're using are traditional cognac glasses. They have a tulip shape that helps you understand the essence of the spirit. You might be wondering why we're using cognac glasses, and it's because cognac is actually a type of brandy. See how it tastes. Look at you pouring for me. All right. You can smell the grapes. Yeah, <laughs> yeah, I definitely get a lot of grape here. A little bit of kind of pear on the nose. Oh, definitely, oh, definitely pear. Sweet. It smells clean. Oh yeah, I could. This on the rocks would be. Whew. All right. Let's get a taste. Mm. Okay. So yeah, grapes. It has a little bit of a citrus like pear type of vibe to it mm -hmm. i'm getting something like uh like mint it's refreshing in that regard hmm. i definitely feel like it gives adult juice box vibes <laughs> <laughs> um today it is a nice cool 100 degrees outside and uh i feel like this would be <laughs> On the rocks, this is perfect, refreshing. Like it, it just, it fits the bill. Okay, so have you ever had sake? Yeah. Okay, so this reminds me a lot of that. This is not, it doesn't taste as much like brandy or cognac like you would think. This is, it's a lot lighter, um, more subtle. This leans more towards the sake, like a cool, crisp glass of sake or something like that. That's what this kind of reminds me of. Um, yeah, uh, the way I'd have it, on the rocks, um, neat is not so much the way I would have it. I, I think it, it needs to be chilled. I think really cold. Mm -hmm. If this beverage was really cold, I think it would kick it up a notch. But yeah, I can definitely see where they're going with this. Um, this is, this is, this is not like a white brandy. This is not that. Like I, I've seen those in the store where you're like, oh, this is um, Christian Brothers White or something like that. That's not what this is. So it's, it's a different, a lighter, more refreshing pour, so. Yeah, it's not clear like a crystalline tequila either. Oh well, yeah, <laughs> no, it's not the same as that. Um, I could see this going good with some wine, maybe an orange. Or orange, yeah, that would, yeah, especially right now. <laughs> yeah. And again, what's the price point? Uh, this is right about forty bucks for take. Um, yeah, I mean, perfect for the summer, light, refreshing. Yeah, like this. Pair this with an uh, adult lunchbox. <laughs> yeah. Not to take away from it. I, this really, it, it just, it, it's, it's really nostalgic tasting. Yeah, it is. It's just the right amount of fruitiness. Like you get the fruits. Um, it, it puts a smile on your face. I, I'm surprised at this price point, you know, what this does. I mean, it's, it's, it's great. Oh, yeah. All right, well, all that's left is to rate it. Um, I would say this would be perfect for a beginner to step in and, and get a taste of something that, that leans more towards the grapes, a little bit of citrus, 
but it's still, I mean, it's a 40% alcohol beverage. This is not something that's real light. Um, doesn't have all that extra sugar in it that's gonna leave you with the hangovers, and I wouldn't add that to it. I would just let this be the star of the show, and that's that's where I would take it. And I think anybody can step in, have this on the rocks, if you happen to find it at, at your local bars. Um, otherwise, your box stores may have it, and uh, if not, they can order it, so. I was thinking more of expert, just because it's a variation of brandy. If you're already used to brandy, this is something different to take it to another level. Yeah. And like I said, again, you can pair it with an adult lunch bowl, aka a charcuterie board. <laughs> yeah. And and just have a good time. Put some music on, create a vibe, yeah. and experience. Because I mean, honestly, we've we've had our fair share of brandies. I have one in particular that's coming up soon in cognacs, and we've had those for several years. And this is our first year being introduced to this. So I, I can see where you're going with it, but I I still think it's much cleaner and less, I can't say less flavor, but it's it's less of a bite and a punch than you would get from some of your brandies and cognacs that you may not enjoy. This would be a smoother, more crisp and refreshing version of that, in my opinion. Primarily due to not having any barrel to speak of on this one. It's just pot steel and refreshing. I, that's, that's the word. <laughs> yeah, that sounds good. Like well, we're going to agree to disagree, but we can agree that we love it. <laughs> yeah, we love it. Cheers. Cheers. <laughs>